Well, hi, and welcome to my uh, to Jim's Radio Shop, where I'm working on a 91X Philco. There's the radio. And here's here's my problem at the moment. This is an IF coil. Uh, you can see the one coil here, and the other coil is just right here. This coil, I've convinced myself, has a fault in the wire itself, in the wire coil. The connections I've proven out are okay. And, uh, by the way, the, those clip leads that are, you see on there, they, they go up to my my DC power supply, and for some reason I thought I might be able to burn the fault in the coil by applying high voltage, and I tried that. I made a video of it, but, uh, but I'm not going to put it up on YouTube because nothing happened, because right at the end I realized, for crying out loud, this coil sits in the radio with almost 400 volts on it. So... I'm not going to do anything with 300 volts coming from my supply, so my burn out the spot idea didn't work. <laughs> I don't have any other way to, to go any higher on it. So I'm left with the terrible feeling that what I have to do is unwind this guy. Frankly, it's something I've never done. Unwind that coil, detect the uh, break in the wire, assuming there's just one piece it together, wind it back up, and cross my fingers, I've done it successfully. It doesn't sound impossible to me, but there's some terrible problems with it. Uh, the wire is very, very thin. Now, where's my, where's my uh, mag magnifier here? Boy, this is handy. I use this so much. wire is so fine you, you can't even see the individual turns on it and that's all stuck on there with varnish or whatever it was they used back in 32 and I'm going to try and peel that apart um, that's pretty worrisome uh, and then I have to remake it successfully that's pretty worrisome to me too so, I think, you know what, I think it might be best if I hunt around and try to find somebody who's done this kind of thing, maybe done a video on it or some instructions. Because there's probably lots of hints of how to do this properly before I get in there and just break this piece of wire into a thousand pieces. And uh, I'll never have success with it, so... So that's my appeal. I was all set this morning to go at this, and now I've got cold feet on it. Yeah, I think that's about the best I can do. Now, so I can turn my attention back to other problems in the radio. I think that's what I'll do. Um, I'm a little more comfortable with doing some of these other things than fiddling with this guy and ending up with a terrible mess. I mean, I don't have any wire like that in my shop that I can just rip that off and wind a new one, which is really the easiest way to do it. I'd have to actually peel that wire off and try to reuse it, and uh, it doesn't sit well with me at all. So, let's put the coil aside before I bang it again and put another fault into it. I'll just put him over here. He can rest. He can rest over here. And we'll get back to other matters. And what were the other matters? The other matters were a lack of B+. Plus. Down amongst all these components here. And uh, I was going to try to identify some of the components, relate them back to the schematic here, and see if I can't continue to come up with some deductions about why no B plus appearing. Now wait a minute, I got a new reading, didn't I? I got to 30 volts. When I first try through here, I got zero, zero, zero on the three on these three plates, but on second pass, I got 30 on one of them. Now for crying out loud, and I still haven't properly identified one. <laughs> 
<coughs> which tube is which, which is another. Another thing that's bothering me a lot here. So there's a couple things to try to figure out here right now. Oh, I got company. I got company. Assistant is Sean. Don't worry, there's no power.